Before the pandemic crisis, the excessive use of plastics is very evident in today's civilization. Unfortunately, this leads to one of the most noticeable problems faced by today's generation, land pollution. The Philippines ranks as the world's third biggest polluter with 2.7 million metric tons of plastic waste generated each year. According to City Environment and Natural Resources, in Kidapawan City alone, an average of 3.5 tons of plastic waste is collected each day. This massive quantity of plastic waste presents many environmental issues. Many efforts have been undertaken to address the issue. With this, much studies have been made to somehow alleviate and address the problem on plastics. Ang solusyon sa plastic, mas maganda yun, iipon mo siya nga malayo sa bahay sa mga tao para madelikado yung mga bata. Now, effective and efficient waste management is the ultimate goal of all countries across the world. You would see that there would be some people who really don't know how to handle their waste. This would be and so, our research began. I am Vince Philip G. Aranzos. I am Nathalie Shane Newtampoy. And I am Juliana May Elfian. Our study is entitled Bisol, Santosoma Sekitipol and Starch, a main component of biomass. The study aims to produce bioplastic using bisol, santosoma, sagitifolium starch as its main component and evaluate the product's qualities in terms of moisture absorption, tensile strength, burning, and degradability. It was obtained by blending, decanting, filtering, drying, and pulverizing. Three different mixtures of glycerin, vinegar, and water with varying amounts of bisol starch were produced, after which, it was molded to produce the bioplastics. The bioplastics were then subjected to tensile strength, burning, moisture absorption, and biodegradability tests. The data collected revealed that treatment B, which has the greatest amount of starch relative to other components, showed the most preferable characteristics in terms of the four parameters set in the study. It can withstand a mean of 14.32 newtons, completely burned within an average time of 19.89 seconds, has 10.34% moisture absorption, and 75% degraded after 3 days. Thus, Bisol proves to be a very good main component of bioplastics. Moreover, the amount of Bisol starch is a determining factor of the quality of the produced bioplastics. Results of the study leads to the recommendation of finding better molder that can produce a continuous bioplastic with bigger size. Someday, we hope that our study will be used to manufacture bioplastics that are more eco-friendly and environmentally safe. We want to create a world where environment don't need protection. Each one of us can make a difference. Together, we make a change.